So now we're going to finally talk about a chord that a lot of people have an opinion on, a lot of people want to avoid it, a lot of people want to write in the comment section what they think about it, and how they avoid songs that may have it, they run away from even looking at it. But I'm going to show you a simple fact of there's a certain practicality to the F bar chord, and while the F bar chord might be the most challenging way to play F, it's also the most practical. So it has that double-edged sword aspect to it. It's one of the most practical ways of playing it, yet it's the most physically demanding way of playing it. And it might throw you off into the deep end. So we're going to break down exactly what the F bar chord is first, and then I'll show you a reduced version, and then an even further reduced version of it. But I think if you persevere, you can't get the F bar chord. It has to do with the muscles here within your thumb. It has to do with the guitar neck profile. And it has to do with the angling of your index finger. And it has to, to do with your knowledge of what you have to do mechanically. So let's think about first this chord, the, the E major. But we're going to play it while we're freeing up the index finger. You to see that. Now we're going to slide this shape, and at that point, the thumb is going to droop down. The whole elbow and everything is going to drop, kind of relax, and then the index finger is going to be applied here. Now, this is when my th thumb is making somewhat of a vice grip and really pushing on this chord. Now, many beginners might wonder what strings are the hardest to get to ring out with this. Because if you're getting a few strings, I recommend you stick with this, actually. Those are going to be your most challenging strings. Okay, so we have your F. And you're going to try that, you're going to work on it, you're going to work on strumming. But there's actually a method that you can try that's a little bit cumbersome to jump into. But once you get it, you might like it even better, which is making a simple bar here on the first fret, on the first string, and on the second string. And now we're, obviously the F bass note just disappeared, but we've reduced the shape. Okay, you might like to try that either with the thumb or being conscious of your right hand. And another very popular way is taking the pinky off. Now we have the ring finger on the 3rd fret on the 4th string, still making our mini bar. And we have this, I think I would call it a reduced shape. So think of it as a reduced F. I really don't like this modified low oval performing artist modern Martin neck, but I try to like it. It's Basically, I wanted to make a separate video on that, but it's got this V thing going on with it. Asymmetrical V-neck. So get a guitar neck that you really like and that's not trying to be too unusual. Usually get it, get it working after a while. So there's your other F. Call that the reduced F, making a bar here. First fret on strings one and two, second finger on the second fret on the third string, and ring finger or third finger on the third fret on the fourth string. 